Hello, all right, in this episode, we're gonna talk about finding our solutions of a quadratic equation utilizing the graphing method. Um, we're, the first problem that we're gonna do is we're gonna show you um, utilizing the axis of symmetry equation, which that is, whoops, why did this move? I don't know, which that's going to be x is equal to negative b over 2a. That's our axis of symmetry. So I'm gonna utilize that so that I can graph it on my graph here, and I can determine what the zeros, because we're looking for the zeros or the solutions. What are the solutions? What are the zeros? We don't know. So that's what we're gonna find out. So if I find my axis of symmetry in here, um, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna say f of, not f, I'm gonna say x is gonna be equal to negative four, because our b here is next to the x, that's four, and that's gonna be over two times one, so this is gonna give me negative two. So our axis of symmetry is over here at negative two. I'm gonna graph negative two. This is our axis of symmetry, x is equal to negative two. Now I need to take that point and plug it into my equation and find out what my vertex is, because all right, we're going to talk about our table that we're going to graph, x and y. We need to find our vertexes here at negative 2. All right. And if remember, these two y values are match, and these two y values are match, and these two y values will match. So all we really need to do is find our vertex first. All right, so I'm going to say f of, f of negative 2. That's gonna give me negative two squared plus four times negative two minus five. If I were to plug this in, this would end up giving me negative nine. So this is gonna be negative two, negative nine. I'm gonna plot my point. I'm gonna use a different color. Negative two, nine, I believe that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, there we go. We're all the way down there. All right, that's my vertex. All right, now I need to, if I go to the right, because we know we know this is gonna be a happy parabola. I'm gonna draw my little happy face. We know this is gonna be a happy parabola, which pace our parabola is gonna be curved up, just like our little smiley face, a little smile, all right? So we know since it's gonna be pointed upwards, and in terms of, I'm gonna, if we're here, our vertex is here, or on this, a negative two, then I'm gonna go right one, and that's gonna give me negative one. The next point's gonna be zero. So, and then if I go the next way to the left of my axis of symmetry, that's gonna give me negative three, and then that's gonna give me negative four for the next point. So now I just really need to plug in that point into my equation. So now I'm gonna look at f of negative one. That's gonna give me negative one squared plus four times negative one minus five. And that's gonna give me negative eight. So if that's negative eight, then that means negative three is also gonna be negative eight. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go plot that next point. And that point is also gonna be there. And now I'm gonna try zero. So f of zero is gonna give me zero squared plus four times zero minus five, which is gonna give me, oh, good look at that, negative five. So I'm gonna go here, one, two, three, four, five. All right, I need to go one more because I have not hit my axis, x-axis. This is my x-axis. And this is my y-axis. Okay, so I need to pick one more y value, or not one more y value, one more x value, sorry. So I'm gonna pick x is one. Since that's zero, that's one, so I'm gonna go over one more. All right, so let's see what happens when x is one. So f of one is gonna give me one squared plus four times one minus five. This is gonna give me one plus four minus five. That's going to give me zero. Now, I have one zero and I know that that's gonna match, that means the y value over here for the symmetric pair is gonna be at zero. So at negative five, zero, I'm gonna hit the x-axis. So I'm gonna go here, one zero, and one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna 
two. So I'm gonna hit the X axis there and there. Now, those are my zeros of the graph. That is the zeros of the graph. That's where I hit the X axis. So the solution, the zero would be X is equal to, now we're specifically looking at what the X value is. That X value is going to be one and negative five. So I would write this as one and normally you would write them from smallest to largest. So I'm gonna write negative five first, then I'm gonna write one. And the way that you would write your solution usually is do these little curly braces. And that is the solutions to our graph. So we have two solutions on this quadratic equation, and we have two solutions to this graph. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to do this, not algebraically, but using your calculator. See you then.